read about that. So I think one of the uh, many strengths, uh, favorable uh, conditions for AI development, R&D in China is uh, uh, there's a large talent pool of engineering, uh, uh, engineers, but also there's a one language, a single linguistic market of a, a billion people, so which is Chinese language. And I think the single linguistic market is uh, what makes uh, the American companies and the Chinese companies so successful in, uh, for two reasons. One is the uh, large user base that allows them to have uh, a huge amount of data in a single language. And secondly, is a homogeneous user base uh, uh, based on that language. But today also I want to uh, mention a little bit about the role of the Chinese government in, uh, and, and its plans in, in, um, in supporting AI R&D. So uh, people might have heard of the uh, a recent document uh, published by the uh, State Council of China on issuing the development plan on the new generation of, of artificial intelligence. And I would like to mention the uh, strategic ob objectives laid out by our government. There are three, actually. By 2020, the overall technology and application of AI should be in sync with the world's advanced level and the AI industry will become a new important economic growth point. This is very important because um, I would say that since I study in the U.S. in AI, um, I've been in AI uh, for nearly 30 years, and I've also studied in Europe and uh, obviously in, in Japan, and also obviously working in Hong Kong, I would say that the AI strategy in U.S. has largely been defense-driven uh, for many decades, whereas in China it's growth-driven. So the 2020 goal is to bring the AI technology to be in sync with the world's advanced level. Note that we do not consider our current level to be world's advanced level, <laughs> which I think is a bit modest. But, uh, and the second objective is to achieve uh, a breakthrough of the basic theory of artificial intelligence by 2025. This is, uh, we're aiming to actually to become a, a leader in AI technology by then. And, uh, and then our technology should reach the world's leading level by 2025. By 2030, uh, the AI theory technology and applications should have reached the world's leading level and become the world's major artificial intelligence innovation center. And also the smart economy and smart society should have achieved remarkable uh, results laying an important foundation for becoming a forerunner of innovative countries and economic powers. This is a very ambitious plan by 2030. So what, do we, what does our government think we need to do to achieve that? What are the key tasks? So number one, uh, we need to build an open and collaborative artificial intelligence technology innovation system. So following the recent, uh, I think people are probably uh, familiar with the open source movements by all the big AI companies in the US, Chinese are also uh, open sourcing everything we do. So that's an open and collaborative AI technology innovation system. Uh, second key task is to establish a new generation of key common technology systems for AI. And the third is to lay out an innovation platform for AI. Fourth is to accelerate the training and gathering of high-end gathering of high -end talents for AI. So this is, has always been the uh, important element of uh, high-tech development in China, which is to attract and retain talents, many of whom uh, are educated overseas. So there are actual funding schemes and uh, very generous uh, uh, um, package to attract these talents home and to retain them. And uh, one of the tasks is to accelerate this process. And, um, and also another task to build an ubiquitous but safe and efficient intelligent infrastructure system. So, <clears throat> and to lay out a new generation of AI major technology projects. So these are the broad brush uh, key, key, uh, key tasks that Chinese government uh, plans that for, for us to achieve. And I will say that these, um, this was laid out in the white paper that was co-authored and at least in consultation with the top technology companies in China as well as the top academics. And I would also like to talk about AI standards. I would say that China is probably leading in implementing AI standards uh, in our country. And uh, in the past, there have been various national committees for AI standards. 
uh, in different industries. For example, the National Information Technology Standardization Technical Com Committee has been setting standards for AI terminology, HCI, biometrics, big data, cloud computing. So these are uh, under the uh, 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 information technology technology standardization. The National Committee for Automation System and Integration Standardization has been setting standards for automation and robotics. And the National Audio, Video, and Multimedia Standardiza Standardization Technical Committee has been standing, setting standards for smart living and wearables. The National Information Security Standardization Technical Committee has been working on st standards for biometrics for national security. National Intelligent Transport System Standardization Technical Com Committee has been standard, setting standards for intelligent transport systems. So the various national standardization committees have been working on this in the past. So uh, in January 2018, the government has directed a uh, centralized and coordinating uh, standards body to set up by the China Electronics Technology Research Institute and this is a new standards co committee that's centralizing all the standardization in AI. And a white paper on AI standards was issued and released in, uh, by then, to, to the 2018 edition. And it was edited by top corporations, including the BATs, Baidu, Alibaba, and uh, Tencent, and top universities. And we aim to work together with international standards bodies. So my personal role, I have been uh, representing uh, on the uh, partnership on AI with uh, uh, top um, companies, and I'm also uh, have been an expert on the World Economic Forum. I have been invited here and talking with a lot of international bodies, and I work with the Chinese um, on, on also uh, AI technology and standards. And uh, so, what are the uh, standards we're looking to set? Um, the major AI trends that have been described that we think of are the open source of technology platforms, number one, AI moving towards AGI someday, number two. <laughs> the uh, number three is the intelligent perception moving towards intelligent cognition technology. So I have been uh, a, a researcher in, the, uh, in speech recognition and then natural language processing, as well as uh, effective computing for nearly 30 years. So, the technology that recognizes your speech and translate that into text, and the technology that recognizes an object, whether it's a cat or dog, are considered intelligent perception technology. And these technologies are fast maturing and reaching human parity, if not already surpass human in many areas. But the next challenge we are really moving towards intelligent cognition technology, so the understanding <coughs> of your language, the understanding of user intentions, the understanding of uh, emotions and uh, the effective uh, man-machine interaction. Now, uh, to, uh, of note is also that China has considered AI safety, ethics, and privacy to be of uh, very important, uh, of highest importance, and it has been discussed in the white paper. It is mentioned as vital to beneficial AI. So there's a separate standardization group working on a standardization for AI safety, ethics, and privacy. Um, Chinese people are concerned about their privacy. Uh, and uh, the data privacy and safety are also very important to our government. So, and why? Because standards are seen as a way to build a trust of the public in AI technology. It's a way to build trust of the public in the government. So um, it is beneficial. Standards are seen as beneficial to technology transfer and to improve product and services qualities. And they are seen as important to ensure consumer safety and uh, confidence. So this is the, uh, on the, on the overall the picture of uh, seen by the Chinese government. And it's actually been, uh, uh, have been implemented and uh, it will be executed. You should, you know, we, we know that when Chinese government has decided on something, it will be done. So. <laughs>